Hello, this is Dr. Randy Morris of IVF1, and this is Infertility TV on My Personal MD. Recently, the inter international infertility conference known as ESHRAE wrapped up in Helsinki, Finland. ESHRAE is the European Society of Human Reproduction and Embryology. Meetings such as this one allow physicians and scientists to present their latest research to their peers. These meetings can serve as an early indicator of which directions fertility treatment may go in the future, what new technologies may become valid treatments, and which ones were not able to withstand the rigors of scientific scrutiny. In the next few episodes of Infertility TV, we will look at a few of the more interesting areas of research that were presented at ESHRAE this year. Today, we're going to talk about bed rest. Researchers from the VU University Medical Center in Amsterdam conducted the largest ever study to answer this question. Does bed rest after an intrauterine insemination, or IUI, improve your chances for getting pregnant? A few small studies done in the past suggested that resting for 10 to 15 minutes after an IUI increased success rates. To test this out, the researchers randomly assigned 479 women receiving IUI to either 15 minutes of bed rest or to get up and move around immediately afterwards. The majority of their participants underwent several rounds of treatment with a collective total of about 2,000 IUI cycles. What do you think they found? There was no difference in a woman's chances for becoming pregnant whether she rested afterward or not. Post a comment below if you guessed the results correctly. Studies like this are an important part of the scientific process. We as physician scientists need to constantly challenge ourselves and our preconceived ideas so that we can continue to come closer to scientific and medical truths. Come back next week for another ESHRAE special episode. If you like this video, remember to like this video and share it in your support groups and on your favorite social media channels. Do you have a topic or question you would like answered on Infertility TV? Let us know in the comments. You don't want to miss any episodes, so subscribe to Infertility TV now and visit our website at IVF1.com.